Recently, I told you that I wanted steps to represent the UK at Eurovision. But what about all the other countries? Who are my dream picks for Europe? But before we begin, if you are new here, I would absolutely love it if you could subscribe. I make videos about all things Eurovision that I just know you love. So yes, indeed, the pace is slowly picking up for Eurovision 2022. And I, as ever, have some opinions about who I would love to see on that Eurovision stage. Now, of course, this is all very much hypothetical. Some of these names are never gonna happen. But a guy can dream, all right? And we shall go in alphabetical order, starting with everyone's favorite European nation, Australia. Now I know it might be a little bit of a cop out to choose a national final performer, but Jaguar Jones is destined for Eurovision. She's this amazingly strong and powerful artist who has been through hell and back. And her music reflects her struggles whilst being just so irresistibly catchy. And ever since she did Oz Decides back in 2020, I have been head over heels in love with her. So when she got announced as entering the 2022 edition, I was beside myself. Next up, we have Denmark and a little band called Alphabet. Obviously. I hear them coming from miles around, closing like footsteps. Without a sound. There is nothing more joyous in the world than the music of Alphabet. They are fun personified. I love them so, so much. And every time they perform live, it just looks like the six of them are having the time of their lives. It's infectious, frankly. And how they haven't done Eurovision yet, I do not know. I see shadows Admittedly, they have just gone on another hiatus, so the timing of this ain't the greatest, but you never know. The Viz could bring them back together. And sticking with the Scandies, let's pop over to Finland. I've been wanting Hello Helsinki to do the Eurovision for years and after their performance on UMK it seems like a lot of fans are finally getting on board the Hello Helsinki train. A song like Oh No Let's Go would do so so well. Something that really shows off Eddie's vocals but at the same time has a great beat and a really catchy hook that just keeps you listening over and over. Oh no, no, let's go, let's go. France next and I'm gonna put Mika into the mix. I know he's been approached by the UK a couple of times and he's also one of the rumoured hosts for Turin, so he's clearly in demand. But for me, it's his French language material that I love the most. In and of itself, French is a beautiful language. But then you add Mika's quirky, peppy, upbeat vibe into the mix and you just get hit after hit. <laughs> Norway now and someone else who's also quite in demand, Sigrid. Now she clearly does not need it. She would be amazing wouldn't she? She's got that proper Scandi pop sound. It's synthy, it's dancey, it's a little bit electro and I just cannot get enough of it. A song like Mirror, I can see it being this big party anthem that the arena would just go mad for. Next up, let's discuss Russia. Now I know this is gonna make me sound like a massive stereotype, but I love me some old school synth pop. It's a sort of music that I grew up on. Artists like LaRue, Tommy Sparks and Robin were the soundtrack to my 
teenage years. And someone like Tesla Boy going for Russia? I wouldn't be mad at that. Sweden now with another national finalist. Again, I know it's a cop out, but Clara Klingenstrom was robbed. Let's be real. Looking back in hindsight, it was very clear that Sweden messed up when they chose an English language. So I honestly, honestly think had they picked something in Swedish, they would have done a hell of a lot better. And to me, Clara is the perfect choice. Her music transcends the language barrier and it tugs at your heartstrings. It doesn't matter if you know what she's singing or not. And last on my list, we have The Jackets. For Switzerland. For me, it's the look that sells them. Those black and white outfits and Jackie's crazy makeup was just suit Eurovision to a T. And musically, it's got that real retro throwback sound that I'm honestly honestly in love with. And I think combine that with some equally old school staging and you'll have a package that really stands out from the crowd. What about you, humble viewer? Who are your dream Eurovision picks? Obviously I couldn't mention every country, so I'd love to know which act did I miss. Let me know down below in the comments. And as always, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more. The next big Eurovision event is junior in December, so keep an eye out for my reaction to this year's songs and show coming very soon. And to keep watching my stuff, just click the links on screen now.